Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost Rich here today. As you can see, we're going to install this shower rod. Now, very easy. If you don't, if you're trying to not go into your grout with a bit, you can either sit up here on top of your enclosure or out here, depending on where you want to go. I'm going to do it up here for added support. But what you do now, this is where a lot of people get mixed up. You put it out like this, yes. You squish it out and then you turn it so it locks in. So now it's locked in. But now the next part is to line this up and then you grab it and you actually unscrew this. And what this does is as you're screwing it, it gets tighter and tighter. And the reason why I'm showing this is I've gone to so many places and they don't do this and then you're able to pull it down. Whereas if you tighten this properly, you can actually do this on both ends by the way. There we go. And it holds it way, way tighter. So make sure when you're installing your shower rod, you go there and maybe to this side. <clears throat> See, I'm pushing up on it. It's not going, like it's flexing up, but it's not going up. And that's what it's all about, making sure that it holds. So try that out, try your shower curtain and make sure it goes along it nice and smooth for you. If that doesn't work, then yeah, I would suggest doing this one over, oh, say a white one or a black one, because those are wear a lot more than this nickel. The nickel is already brushed, so if it scratches and scrapes, it blends a lot more. But that's all there is to it. Press like, help you out, and subscribe for more.